Hello? Are we recording? Alright people, I'm going to show you how you can make custom sabers for Beat Saber relatively easily. Let's check this out. Alright, let's check it out. Let's check out how to make a custom saber. Now I will tell you, I got most of this information from a tutorial, from this tutorial by Red Brumbler. I will leave a link in the video description. But I have changed a few things and added a file to do this very easily. What we're going to do is we're going to use Gravity Sketch. And I'm going to show you how to model a saber that you can use and show you how to import it. And here are the files you're going to need. You're going to need uh, from this website, this version of Unity, this Unity project he has listed. Model program of your choice, we're going to use Gravity Sketch. Unity Asset Bundle Extractor from here and the guides files. And one other file is I have a gravity sketch save or I'm calling it a Beat Saber guide. It's a save that has the saber in the correct position and orientation and size that you'll have to just use as a guide to model your saber into. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, go ahead and open gravity sketch. And the file that I'm going to give you to open is right down here. Click on that. Now here it is. Now you can just move the axis of the world, pressing this button right here to bring, bring this up to you. And this is how you have to align your saber. I'll go here. Now make sure you can see these vertices or these axes. Just go into settings and make sure world axis is on because if it's not, you won't see them. Okay, and so go down to layers and go ahead and make this one semi-transparent because we're going to put a saber in there and then go to this other layer that we'll use. And now we have to build three separate parts, the blade, the handle, and the glowing edges, which we can make anything we want. Now I'm, no, I'm not a good modeler, so this is just a demonstration. I'm definitely no professional modeler, that's for sure. Okay, so that's my blade. This is super cheese because I'm definitely no 3D modeler. So this will be my blade. Probably have to make this smaller, it's too big. That looks about right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to make the handle. Yeah, I'm definitely no modeler, that's for sure. But sure have fun playing with this program. And then we need to make the glowing edges. And they can be whatever you want. These are the parts that are going to glow. You get fancy, do little designs. All right, I just grouped these all together. This is my cheese ball saver, but it's just for demonstration. And it definitely needs to get bigger. It looks about right. If you want to make a better saver, just look up some good gravity sketch tutorials you become mad saber scientist all right I'm just gonna go for that now to export it to an object file first I'm gonna bring the layer one all the way down so we don't export that if we do it's not a problem but we're not gonna try to all right now just go to export appear save and then export make sure all these settings are the same Y Y Z just look at what I have right here Click on that. Okay. If you want, you can save this as well. Save sketch and name it whatever you want. Alright, now connect your quest to your computer and go into the root folder. Go to Gravity Sketch, Exported Sketches. If you do it, if you export and it doesn't show up, try disconnecting your quest and reconnecting it. All right, there we go. We have uh, Saber 007 and 008. I did this already and I realized I wasn't recording it, so then I did 008. So now make sure you've downloaded all those files that I showed you before. You'll need uh, Asset Bundle Extractor, 
custom Saber Unity project. The file I'm going to give you is Gravity Sketch Beat Saber Guide and the guide files Saber Zip file. And extract them all. Oh, you also need this one, Unity Download Assistant, to download that version of Unity and install it. And once you have all that extracted and you have Unity installed, I'll show you what else you got to do. Alright, go ahead and copy those zip files to whatever folder you want. And I have two files here, but we're, we're just going to use one of them. And in the custom Saber Unity project, go into that, go into Assets, and then and then double click on sabers.unity and it will launch Unity. Alright, Unity is open. Now, go to the folder you extracted your OBJ file, do this one, and drag and drop it down below into this Assets folder, Assets part of the window. Okay, there we go. And then drag and drop it up over here to the left side of the screen. Bam! And we, we see the three different meshes. Let me see what they're named. And just do uh, Shift Control B for build. And it should default to Windows. Mm -hmm. it should say up here PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. Then click on build and select a folder or make a folder. Name this one 12, and it will build it, and then we'll open the it will open the folder. There we go, and then you're going to want to go into Custom Savers data of the build folder that you just had, and we're going to open this file with right up here assets bundle extractor.exe. So with this, go ahead and navigate to that folder. Double click on the shared assets zero dot assets. And down here I just select 2018.1.1F1. Seems to work. Alright, now we see these are here. Those are the three meshes. We can find out what is what by looking in Unity. So 0033 is the blade. And we have to name these something specific. Like here is Red Brumbler's guide, and he tells you what to name them. So Blade is going to, we want to name it SaberBlade.dat. And so we want to do this separately. So we want to do 33 as the blade. So go back to here, select 33, export raw. Find the folder you want to save it to. And down here. Saber blade. Okay. All right. What's 34? 34 is the handle. So it's going to be saber handle dot dat. Export raw. Saber handle. And the other one is going to be glowing edges. Thirty-five. All right. Those are all saved. Navigate to the folder that you saved them to. Here we go. And you're going to have to edit this JSON file that is in the guide files saver folder. You can use Notepad or you can use Notepad++. I recommend Notepad++, but you can just use Notepad. And down here is the part that you're going to have to edit. I'll show you what I did for mine. So you can get an idea. Just going to reuse one from the other one. So down here, you see what I put? Shanker's test, Shanker's test saber, mod description. I didn't put anything in there for that. I'm just testing right now. All right. So after you after you fill this stuff in, put the name and the author. Don't change the category. Don't change the platform. You can change the version of your saver right up here. That would be your your version. And now just select these three DAT files and the JSON file. Right click and you have to zip it. 
bam, there it is. It is now zipped. Now I have, you have to use SideQuest for this. And it is connected to my, to my Quest. Click on Beat On. Select Upload. Drag and drop your saber. It's uploaded. Click on Sync to Beat Saber. Let's wait. And now let's check it out. Go ahead and fire up Beat Saber. And you should see your saber. Test how to play, play tutorial. We'll see what. All right, Welcome see, there we go. My my custom sabers. There we go. Oh yeah. So you can see it was pretty easy to do. All right, guys, that is it. That's how you make custom sabers for Beat Saber. It's pretty easy to do. And if I forgot anything in this video tutorial, I will put it in the video description. Um, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. I uh, wanted to give a shout out to Ty from Tyco Tech because he's been like nagging me and telling me how awesome all this Beat Saber modding stuff is. And I'm like, dude, I'm busy. What are you talking about? And so I was like, what? You can make your own custom sabers? How do I do this? So actually, I, I when I heard that you can use OBJ files, I was like, hmm, Gravity Sketch can export OBJ files. Maybe I can use Gravity Sketch. So um, for any of you skilled 3D modelers, this should be cool. Uh, a couple of things to note. Currently, Gravity Sketch cannot merge meshes. So each thing you make has to be one physical design. Like you can't export one. Anything that is comprised of separate meshes inside of Gravity Sketch, when you export the OBJ file, it will still be separate meshes inside the OBJ file. That's why you have to just make one object as the saber, one object as the handle, and one object as the glowing edges. Hopefully Gravity Sketch will come out with the option to merge meshes so you can have like separate pieces that are considered one mesh but, but right now that seems to be a limitation of it. Alright, if you guys have any questions let me know and I will talk to you later. Thanks.